Hello everybody, this is Carl Glang from Suzanne Jean Flutes. I just wanted to take a moment here today to show you something here. Normally I take time here on uh, YouTube to show you the latest flute that I have up on eBay, but uh, I'm doing something a little different here today. I wanted to show you uh, this sketch here. Now this is a sketch that I did about maybe a little, over, a little less than a year ago actually. And it's a sketch that I did of an orca whale jumping out of the water. Now this was an idea that I came up with for a, uh, for a, a, a flute totem. But when I actually did this sketch, at that time I didn't really consider myself to be that good as far as a wood carver goes. So I wanted to give myself some time, uh, maybe do some other blocks in between, until I actually felt that I was at the place where I could do something like this. Well, a couple weeks ago, I decided that after doing uh, cardinals and hummingbirds and woodpeckers and uh, even a couple of dolphins, that I was at the place where I could actually take on something like this. So I got myself a piece of tupelo wood, and I sketched this uh, sketch here onto that piece of wood. And after a lot of uh, cutting and carving and painting, this is what I ended up with. This here is a flute totem that I created. In fact, I just finished this one today. And I'm calling this little guy here Orca Leaps. Now, the thing I'm kind of uh, proud of with this one here, first off, are the water effects that I created. This is one single piece of Tupelo wood, by the way. This is not uh, individual pieces glued together. This is all one single piece of wood. But you'll notice what I did here is I was able to create the wood effects here using a combination of paints and uh, pigment powders and created some decent water effects here. But I also am really very happy with the way the orc itself turned out. Again, we gave him a nice fin here, gave him some nice shape and everything, made him look a little alive, even gave him a couple of fins here on the side. The thing that's kind of cool here is the teeth effect that I created here. Uh, you'll notice that the... Uh, teeth there looked like a little something that I had carved in. These are not carved in teeth. These are actually just simply paint droplets of white acrylic paint, the same type of paint that I used for uh, painting the uh, white on the fellow here. And I just simply uh, was able to put some drops in either mouth here and just let those dry and the end result uh, was able to give this guy some uh, decent choppers here. So I just wanted to show what you can come up with if you just simply take your time and uh, actually get yourself to the place where you can make something like this. Again, I have no training in wood carving or anything like this. This is something I just simply created entirely on a lark to see if I could actually do something like this. And I'm actually very proud with uh, what I came up with here. And it's like I said, it's amazing how you can come from something like a sketch all the way into an actual finished product. and be honest with you, uh, again, I'm very proud of myself for what I was able to do here. Now, this particular block, I don't think I'm going to be selling this one when I actually come up with a flute that I'll be putting them on. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, I may wind up donating this guy. You know, something like hoping that maybe whatever money I can get off of this thing here can go for a good cause. By the way, you'll notice that. Um, I actually went ahead and also signed and dated this guy as well, too. That's how proud I am of him. And what's more, too, once again, this is something that I can do in honor and in memory of my late wife, Sue, uh, again, who I make all my flutes for. So uh, I just wanted to show off this guy today. This is a uh, new flute uh, totem that I've created. And again, this guy will eventually be going on to a flute that will be donated. Uh, I may make another one of these uh, fellows uh, sometime soon uh, and maybe go ahead and put that out on eBay. But uh, until then, I just wanted to show what uh, I've done here and, again, essentially show how far I've come with my own flute making. So, again, this is Carl Glang of Suzanne Jean Flutes showing off my new uh, block here, which, by the way, I'm calling Orca Leaps. And I hope you enjoyed this little demo here. And I hope everybody's having a real good day out there. And you all take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.